Exploration Flight Test 1 or EFT-1 previously known as Orion Flight Test 1 or OFT-1 was the first test flight of the Orion multipurpose crew vehicle. Without a crew, it was launched on December 5, 2014, at 1205 Coordinated Universal Time 7.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, by a Delta IV heavy rocket from Space Launch Complex 37B at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The mission was a four-hour, two-orbit test of the Orion crew module featuring a high apogee on the second orbit and concluding with a high-energy re-entry at around 20,000 miles per hour 32,000 km per hour, 8,900 m per second. This mission design corresponds to the Apollo 4 mission of 1967, which validated the Apollo flight control system and heat shield at re-entry conditions planned for the return from lunar missions. NASA heavily promoted the mission, collaborating with Sesame Street and its characters to educate children about the flight test and the Orion spacecraft. Topic. Objectives The flight was intended to test various Orion systems, including separation events, avionics, heat shielding, parachutes, and recovery operations prior to its debut launch aboard the Space Launch System, currently scheduled for some time in June 2020. Topic. Vehicle assembly EFT-1 Orion was built by Lockheed Martin. On June 22, 2012, the final welds of the EFT-1 Orion were completed at the Mashad Assembly Facility in New Orleans, Louisiana. It was then transported to Kennedy Space Center's Operations and Checkout Building, where the remainder of the spacecraft was completed. The Delta IV rocket was put in a vertical position on October 1, 2014, and Orion was mated with the vehicle on November 11. Topic: Flight. The four and a half hour flight took the Orion spacecraft on two orbits of Earth. Peak altitude was approximately 5,800 kilometers (3,600 miles). The high altitude allowed the spacecraft to reach re-entry speeds of up to 20,000 miles per hour (32,000 kilometers per hour, 8,900 meters per second), which exposed the heat shield to temperatures up to around 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit (2,200 degrees Celsius). During the flight, the crew module, a structural representation of the service module, a partial launch abort system containing only the jettison motor and Orion to stage adapter were evaluated. The spacecraft remained attached to the Delta FAS upper stage until re-entry began and relied on internal batteries for power rather than photovoltaic arrays, which were not contained in the structural representation. Data gathered from the test flight were analyzed by the Critical Design Review CDR in April 2015. After splashdown in the Pacific Ocean, crews recovered the EFT-1 Orion crew vehicle and will outfit the capsule for an ascent abort test in 2017. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Launch attempts. equals <laughs> equals gallery. <laughs> <laughs>